Hello everyone, welcome to another Stata tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to deal with categorical data in Stata. I've loaded the ACS 2014 dataset. In this dataset, I have a variable called Educ category, where I have put in the highest level of educational attainment for each person. You'll notice that this variable has its values showing up in red as opposed to black. This indicates that we have a string variable. You'll also notice that the state variable is also a string. A string is simply a variable that is a collection of characters. Could be numbers, could be letters, and so forth. The main difference between a string and a numerical variable is that Stata does not know what to do with it. In order to use a categorical variable, stored as a string, in one of our regressions, we're going to have to do a little bit of extra work. A good way to get started with a categorical variable is to get ourselves situated by using the tabulate command, or shortened to tab. So I'm going to tabulate educ category. This will give us a sense for which values are out there and how many observations in our data set fall into each category. You can see that we have five. Associate's degree, bachelor degree, graduate degree, high school diploma, and no diploma. This bottom category here are the people who dropped out of high school. The first thing that we need to do to use a categorical variable is to encode it. To do this, we type encode. Now the name of the variable that we're encoding educ category. To make use of this, we're going to have to create a new variable to store the encoded values. So I'm going to use an option, gen, and in parentheses, we choose a name for our new variable. I'll call mine educ codes. You can name it whatever you like. Now that I've run this command, we can go into the data browser and see what's going on. You'll notice that educ codes is right here next to our string variable, and it looks almost exactly the same. The only difference is that the words are in blue instead of red. Blue indicates that there are numerical values with a label on top of them. If you go ahead and click on one of these cells, for example, this one right here, we can see that in the bar at the top of the screen, there's a three meaning that the actual value in this cell is a three, but Stata is putting a label graduate on top of that. Notice how when we click on the equivalent string, we don't get any underlying value. It simply is the word graduate. One thing to remember about encoding is that the numbers that it assigns to each category are based on alphabetical order. So here, associate is one, bachelor is two, and so forth. Education is one categorical variable that we can think of as an ordinal variable in the sense that we typically think of these categories of education as having an order to them with graduate at the top and no diploma at the bottom. If you want your encoding to come in a more logical order than alphabetical, we can do that. The way that we do this is by using the command label space define. Next, we choose a name for our order. I'll just call this educ order. You can name this anything you like. Now another space, and we now type the order that we want things to go in. So I'm gonna put one, no diploma, then two, high school, three, associate, four, bachelor, and five, graduate. Now I'm going to remake my educodes variable with my custom defined order. I'm gonna go ahead and drop educodes. I'm gonna go ahead and run the command that I did before, encode educ category, gen educodes, but now I'm going to add an additional option, label, and inside the parentheses, 
I'm going to put educ order, the labels that I defined earlier. Now that I've run this, I'm going to go and tab educ codes. And you can see now that instead of alphabetical order, they come in the order that I picked when I defined educ order. I can go into the data browser to confirm this and we can see that when I click on high school, we see a two. When I click on graduate, I see a five. Now that we've properly encoded our variable, we can use this in a regression. The simplest thing that we could do is simply regress wage on our new variable educ codes. This shows a big positive relationship, but the problem with this is that we are simply regressing wage on this variable, which are numbers from one to five. And those are entirely arbitrary numbers that we assigned to these different categories. A better way to do things would be to regress wage on i.educ codes. This is a special structure within Stata that will automatically create temporary dummy variables for each of our categories. When I run this, you can see that I get estimates for each category. However, no diploma is missing. That is because Stata has chosen no diploma as the base group. Stata will automatically pick group one as the base. The coefficient estimates here show the average difference in wage between the base group, the no diploma group, and each of the other groups. As you can see, the graduate degree holders have by far the largest wages. It's also possible to select a group as the base group if you're not happy with group one being the base group. To do this, simply replace the I dot with B and then the group number that you want to use as the base. Let's use graduate as the base, so we'll put B5 dot educ codes. When I run this, you can see that graduate is no longer in the regression because it is now the base group. And the coefficients tell us the difference between being in the graduate group and each of the other groups. You can see here that we have the exact same numbers, but they're now negative because we're working in relation to the highest earning group. This has been a relatively short video as this is not a particularly complicated topic, but if you do have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.